Thank you for joining me for another episode of Sam's Tech Stuff. Today, we're taking a look at four separate 3 Mark Time Spy benchmark runs. We're going to be running the i5 12600K at auto settings with MCE enabled, DDR4 3200 mega transfers per second RAM at CL14 timings with an EVGA RTX 3060 Ti. In the upper left hand corner, you see the 12600K run with auto clock settings, MCE enabled, and the stock RTX 3060. In the top right corner, you see the 12600K with a CPU overclock, 5.1 GHz on the P cores, and 4 GHz on the E cores. Same memory configuration and the the RTX 3060 is also stock. In the bottom left hand corner, we've got the 12600K auto clocks with MCE, same memory, but the RTX 3060 is actually overclocked. And lastly, in the bottom right hand corner, we have the CPU overclock and the GPU overclock. If you're interested in dabbling with overclocking, both the i5-12600K and the RTX 3060 are very easily overclocked. Several motherboards have the MCE feature enabled by default or is very easily toggle on. This is kind of a lightweight automatic overclock for your CPU, so you can definitely flip this on and get a little bit of extra performance out of it. In terms of the RTX 3060, these GPUs are extremely easily overclocked with MSI Afterburner, which is what I'm using in this video. Just for reference, this system is the recent Be Quiet build that I did. All of these components are housed inside of a PureBase 500DX. I'm using the Darkrock 4 CPU cooler, and I'm running this with a Be Quiet Pure Power 11 FM 850 watt power supply. The motherboard is a Gigabyte Z690 DDR4 edition, and I'm running a G-Skill 3200 MHz CL14 memory kit. The stock run was pretty average considering all of the results submitted to the TimeSpy or 3DMark database. For the first overclock run with just the CPU, in terms of the overall score, we were able to gain almost 0.6%. The CPU score, however, did jump up to 14,378, which was a 7.72% gain. In terms of just overclocking the graphics card, we were able to increase our overall score from 9,183 to to 9,848. This was an overall increase of 7.24%, and the GPU score increased by 8.1%. And for the final benchmark run, we have the CPU overclock paired with the GPU overclock. The overall score increased to 9,999. I was pretty bummed I didn't break 10,000. The overall score increased by 8.9%. The CPU score increased by about 6.4%. There's probably some variance here, and the GPU score increased by 9.18%. All in all, these were pretty easy overclocks, and they were pretty easy to validate stability. I would definitely recommend taking a look at what kind of performance benefit you can get from a quick and dirty or easy overclock, especially if you have MCE on your motherboard and if you're familiar with MSI Afterburner. If you want to support the channel, definitely head down to the description and use the affiliate links below. If you like this video, hit that thumbs up button and then subscribe to the channel for more gaming PC, tech, and home lab content.